Well, you gotta ask yourself, is it realistic? Is it realistic? You know? Is this in the confines of reality and not delusion? Second of all, now, chase after a girl that's a 10, and you're a nerd like me. Chasing a girl that's a 10, and you're a nerd like me, you have to become a 10. You have to hit that gym, dress better, you know, present the way you talk, walk, and speak, you know, better. Like, uh, you know, and it's not only hit the gym, dress better, get a good haircut, but also present yourself. Look at the way you walk, talk, speak. If you talk like this with your head down, you don't show no confidence. You gotta have confidence. Confidence don't mean shit if, you're, if you don't put no work into it. You gotta put work into it. If you're one chasing after a 10, you know... Most nerds, I mean, this is, you know, because I'm friends with most nerds, most nerds want that hot blonde 10, and it's like, to some degree, it sounds like fantasy. That's because they don't put, that's because you gotta put work into this. You can't just be nice and say, you know, I like you, and I'm a nice guy. No, it don't work like one. You want that hot 10? You want that 10? You want that blonde that's a 10? You know? Not just a blonde, but any woman that's a 10 or a 9, depending on your stats and your numbers. You got to step your game. You have to hit the gym. You have to dress better. You have to present yourself better. Don't, pre you know, putting your head down like this all the time. And public isn't going to help your image either. And point I'm trying to get with this is. There's got to be some level of attraction. If there's no level of attraction between you two. It ain't going to ever work. I just got to be honest. I know I'm probably going to get this dislikes on this video. But it's just time I be honest. You know. You got to understand reality for what it is. And another thing too, maybe you might not get the 10, maybe you get a 5, 6, 7, 8, possibly a 9 on a good day. But how would you know that because you're so fixed on something that's not even there. You're fixed on something that you can't get, something that's not reality. And that's a problem. You gotta understand reality for what it is. And understand this. There's got to be a certain level of attractionness to you two. It's just how reality works. Again, I'm no dating advice coach. I'm just a common sense and reality coach. You know. And in the real world, you want something really bad, you work for it. But if, just because you work for it, doesn't mean you always get it. See, for people that, you know, you should be chasing after your own market. Your own people. <laughs> you know? Plus, there's hot gamer girls out there. Have you ever seen the recent gamer girls? Shoot. There's a bunch of chicks right now playing Fallout. But you're so busy, stuck on this fantasy of you being with this top model, or a top chick in the club, or a top chick on Tinder, and not seeing the hot gamer girls around around this market. What I'm trying to say is that look for something that you can get. Look for something that's reality. It's like trying to buy a car. You can't buy a car that's out of your price range. You can't buy a five thousand, uh, five or six thousand dollar car if you don't got six thousand dollars. And you, if you only got fifteen thousand, you know, fifteen hundred dollars, you know, fifteen hundred dollars. 
get a fifteen hundred dollar car because that's all you ba your bank carries. That's reality. Chase after something at six thousand dollars when you don't even got six thousand dollars to begin with. It's quite foolish. You'll be making payments. You'll be causing yourself a lot of pain and suffering and misery. You know, for you know guys that have a problem in the dating uh, uh, in the dating world, just try to either work hard at what you're doing and work harder and hope you get it. But if you don't. Look for something that's there. They might not be the most attractive women in the world. But look for something there. And if you're a religious person, because I have to tailor this to everybody, how are you going to expect God to give you things that you need if you're not going to even be responsive to what he's going to give you in the first place? You know, and you got to work on yourself. You know, you can't just get things because... You ask and you're nice about it. No. You gotta work toward goals. Confidence and goals together is where you're gonna is what you need in the real world. That's how you get that's how you survive the real world. That's a life hack in the real world. Is goals. But even then, point is stop deluding yourself and chasing things that aren't there. You're only gonna hurt yourself. I'm only telling this stuff from life experience. This is my life experience. And that's pretty much the subject, coffee time subject today.